As you probably know, there are several types of bed surfaces. Well, I use uh, just a glass uh, plate with uh, 3D lac. And uh, oh, you have uh, like, for example, Gerolite or uh, Biltec plates or this uh, magnetic sheet from uh, Creality. But um, have you ever thought of uh, printing on wood? Okay, I was uh, busy making uh, a video about engraving and not with a laser but with a, uh, a grinder. Little teaser, but I can show it a bit. So, this is for my next video. Uh, while I was uh, working on this, uh, I had a, or still have, an, um, an issue with how I fixate things into the printer. Because if you have uh, a piece of wood, and you want to mail that or a PCB, yeah, you have to f come up with some kind of clamping system. And I was thinking uh, maybe I can use plywood to um, screw it something on, like a vise or anything. That would probably work. But what came to mind is that maybe because this uh, surface is uh, rough, maybe you can just print on it. So I haven't done this before, I've looked on the internet, uh, I've googled it, YouTube, DuckDuckGo, <laughs> you name it, I couldn't find it, so or this idea is terrible, or it's, yeah, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> yeah, I think it, it probably can work, and if it works, you probably have the cheapest bet uh, service you can have because you can just buy the plates in uh, what well, local hardware store uh, they saw it to the right uh, dimensions so and that was uh, free of charge um, I have a heated bed because I have a Creality CR10 I'm going to heat it up to 60 degrees and I will try first uh, printing with uh, PLA and maybe I even don't need warmth uh, a, a warm bed for printing with nylon so because i hope that this is um, all the same uh, this has the same effect as uh, a garolite plate i haven't used that before but uh, i read good things about that so maybe i'm very lucky so or this is genius or it's a complete failure if it's a failure then this video will be a short one so well by now you probably already know if this is going to be a failure or not. Okay, I really can't wait. So I will um, add my uh, the nozzle I have uh, reserved for printing with PLA and start printing on wood. And the thing I'm going to print is this uh, print in place iris box. I haven't printed this before so I don't know if, uh, if I will nail it. I'm most curious about that, uh, that first layer. Print and see what happens. Just see if uh, if anything will, will stick or not. I don't think the height is correct. Console. I still have some tricks uh, left up my sleeve it's because I have a. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you yet, you will find out later in this video. Alright, I said I had another trick up, uh, up my sleeve. Well, I have uh, engraved my uh, logo on it. So, I think, uh, I'm sure that it, it will work uh, a lot better now. Alright, again it failed, I can now see the, uh, the texture of the bottom, so it is pretty rough. This is uh, 
it's not the nicest uh, surface but I have something different that's the trick I have uh, I had uh, up my sleeve and that's uh, this material it's uh, MDF um, this is uh, way smoother and it's uh, it's flat the plywood wasn't uh, flat um, this is this is where I uh, I will put my money on so I'm going to uh, place this on the printer and print again and see if it uh, it will work properly now okay I found out what I uh, did wrong um, I've made a second uh, uh, a second hot end holder. This one is uh, a full metal one, uh, but I also use the stock Creality uh, hot end. Yeah, that bottom goes all the way through here, and with uh, this full metal, it's well, not that far. I didn't put the bottom tube far enough in, so I had some heat creep, and that caused uh, that blockage. But now. I've resolved that and I have finally printed this and the result is stunning. So well, let's see how good this uh, is stuck to the build plate. I haven't used glue or 3D lac or well whatever uh, substance you can uh, put on this is just a uh, plain uh, MDF. <laughs> it looks promising right? So, Well, it stuck uh, quite well. <laughs> There's a little uh, residue left, but apart from that, I think this is a success. This is a great design, by the way. Okay. Let's uh, step it up a notch and see if it also works with uh, nylon without the heated bed. So let's see if this uh, acts as a, uh, a Garolite sheet. managed to print nylon on a cold MDF surface so I didn't have to uh, heat up the bed I haven't put anything on this well let's see uh, if it will come loose My first try then also was a bit too close to the bed. The last piece was well, really pressed onto the plate. So there is some residue left on this uh, nylon as you can see. But still I can clean this and I yeah, can print nylon on MDF. So <laughs> the, the cheapest material I've ever used as a, uh, as a bed surface and I've printed already PLA on it. And nylon and it's flat <laughs> have to clean it but so yeah this uh, of course this wouldn't be as uh, durable as uh, as glass um, what I've seen is that there are of course two sides but uh, one side is uh, 
uh, a bit more dull and this is more shiny so maybe this uh, this shiny surface is uh, more durable than this so I will run some more tests with uh, more materials I'm not going to ditch glass but I'm uh, planning to, to print more uh, to produce more uh, maybe even mass production uh, I can easily swap out these plates and yeah uh, leave this to, to post processing and buying uh, 10 of these uh, sheets is way cheaper than uh, 10 glass plates or build tech and I don't need any heat I don't need any uh, substances to uh, to keep it stuck uh, I'm getting uh, more and more excited the more I think about it because that it's it's awesome right this doesn't cost a dime and I've printed nylon with it okay I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching this uh, this video if you have liked it then uh, please hit that like button uh, yeah and subscribe if you uh, haven't already because there is uh, a lot more to come I hope uh, I've inspired you and uh, I helped you with uh, your 3d printing uh, projects okay see you next time bye